but convert this field goal. Daniel Kennard able to angle oh. it through <laughs> in Norman, but he's back trying to build a program at Florida Atlantic. One of the true uh, legendary names in the game. Daniel Kennard kicks. Man, hitting the hole hard is Daniel McLemore across the 40, and McLemore takes it to the 44-yard line. Uh, so probably it, it, it doesn't have the everyday pressure that uh, your your fan base lives next to each other and talks to each other, but uh, you still got a, a tremendous game with a, a school that's uh, been a great football program for many years. Embick hit, lost the football, it never hit the ground, and Paget McGee is able to come up with the recovery at the five-yard line. Crossland is the tailback. He takes it, powers it to the left side, and forces his way in for a touchdown. Daniel Kennard kicks it off to start the third quarter, and here comes uh, Daniel McLemore with the return for OSU. And an opening. McLemore takes it out to the 46-yard line. A nice return to start the third quarter of 40 yards. Age comes first. Beauty or not, it's age first. Shovel pass to Hamilton. Ball on the ground. Florida Atlantic recovers. They were kind of on their way to 1A status. Still had enough 1AA games. They were in transition. Pressure on. Embick loses the football. It is recovered after the Jamar Ransom hit. Oklahoma State will take over deep in Owl territory. The recovery by Paget McGee. On the field. And when you take a guy on and off the field, it sometimes affects his rhythm. Third and five, here is Woods throwing complete. Devereaux. And he continues to come back. They went power football down here before. We'll try it again with Crossland. Cross the goal line and into the end zone for an Oklahoma State touchdown. And then when he was out of the house, meaning Rashawn, it was up to the next oldest brother. Then up to the next oldest brother. It was by age order. McGain, Casey takes it, lost the football, and Oklahoma State has recovered. And the tight end, 81, Darius, are his two top targets here. Will they have time to throw? No, running for his life. They will call that an incomplete forward pass. But by the time they get to conference play, I think they've got to settle on a guy and go with him to lead them into conference play. Using some of that strength, Built with Ron Gla Rob Glass, excuse me, the strength and conditioning coordinator for Oklahoma State. And cut the legs out from underneath one of the leaders of the team. Well, here's Donovan Woods, a wide receiver. They fake it to Woods. A flag is down at the line of scrimmage as Reed takes off, keeps going, and is finally pushed out of bounds at the 31-yard line. But a quarterback handling this quarterback situation that's, that's, is yeah. going to do it the right way. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think that Maryland, as part of that stretch, a couple of stops, return under Les Miles as the offensive coordinator. Now he takes over as the head coach as he brings it to the sixth. And what you said before, I, I, next Saturday, 28-yard field goal by Redden is good. Let him play for a few series and then just see who's playing better and go with the hot hand. I also think that Texas's defensive line is so athletic that they might be forced to use Troy Smith more just because of his athletic ability. It'll be fun to watch. Enjoy uh, college game day there. Flags down here, 23 to three. Our final score, Florida Atlantic loses to Oklahoma State and Kansas. They fall to 0 and two. Travel safe, Mr. Herbstreet. Likewise. You too, Aaron. See you all next week in Fort Worth. Looking forward to it. For TCU. And Utah back over on ESPN. With Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreet, our entire crew, Phil Orleans produced this game tonight, Mike Schwab directed, Marty Aronoff, Ivan Sikalski, Josh, the legendary Josh Johnston in the booth. <laughs> this has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Good night from Florida. Cheerleading is next.